Hello everyone, welcome to English Finnish. Today we are going to make what we call a shakshuka bomb. Bomb because it is loaded with nutrients and antioxidants from kale, purple cabbage and kidney beans. It's great as breakfast, brunch or even as a healthy meal. The ingredients list could be found in the description box below and the full written recipe is on my website indishwindish.com. Start by putting a pan on medium heat and adding about 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Add one finely diced onion and three chopped cloves of garlic. Saute for about one minute. To get the maximum health benefits of garlic, chop 10 minutes before you expose it to heat. Now add two tablespoon of tomato paste along with half teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of cumin and half teaspoon of sumac. Season with salt and pepper. Saute for about a minute. Keep the heat to medium low and keep it stirring so that it doesn't burn. Then add 2 cups of kale, I am using frozen here, and 1 cup of chopped purple cabbage. As substitutes, you can use spinach and green cabbage if kale and purple cabbage is not available to you. After sautéing for 2 minutes, I am adding 2 cups, that is 400 grams of kidney beans that are already cooked. Sauté for about 2 more minutes, if it looks too dry, add half cup of water. Now break the egg one at a time in a bowl, make a well into the pan and pour the egg into it carefully. You can add as many egg as you like in the same way. Cover and cook on medium heat for about 3 minutes until the white parts are not transparent anymore. If you like your yolks firm, you can cook it longer. I like to top my shakshuka with some crumbled feta, chopped parsley, some dill and like to add a kick with some spicy red chili. You can add any of your favorite herbs. To read about the health benefits of kale, purple cabbage and kidney beans, head over to my website indishwindish.com by clicking the link in the description box below. You can serve the shakshuka on its own, digging into the yolks which my kids call an explosion or you can serve it with a side of bread which is perfect to soak in the ooey gooey golden egg yolks. If you like today's recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check the space this Friday for a kid friendly recipe. See you soon.